Buddha. It's like your deeds and work in the corporeal world is what's going to get you to different universities in the ethereal world. And to my corporeal world is also still dealing with the S world too. You know, they're connected and not the ethereal, which is the higher exalted realms, Nirvana and things of that nature, the higher light, where the atmospheric light can barely stand that type of light being. All right. So, Anyhow, the works that you do in the corporeal realm, it's like, yo, like you in school, like high school type shit, you know what I'm saying? And you want to, you know, like, yo, I want to go to this college, you know, if you're correctly indoctrinated in a system, like their system mimics the most high system. Remember that the false gods is going to mimic the most high system. It has no other choice because it has to make a lie out of the truth. It can't just be like, just make something up out of just nothing without having nothing to base it on. You know, you're not the most high and the most high created everything in truth out of not. You know what I mean? So this is it's a whole different ball game. You know what I mean? So anyhow, though, so the false guys got the same shit where you're indoctrinated. You go through high school and you're like, Yo, I'm going to go to this university. I got this and this. Depend on how much money you may got. Your parents may spend some shit or you may say, yo, I got an academic scholarship, man. I got me a full fledged scholarship or I got me a athletic scholarship i'm gonna go ahead and you got different kind of scholarships so it's the same thing when you're in the corporeal world and the s world which is the spirit world upon transitioning you will have the same type of options as far as like going into the different universities which is what teach you and further enhance your skill that you have which is your gift your skill and also a talent that you was given from the most high this is how you master this in whatever craft, whatever it is, you know, when you go to these worlds, you finish it off. Say you liked it, you know, whatever. You 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 always liked the gardening and shit. But now you get to be vast in gardening. Now you get to know the science of the molecule and, you know, the science of gardening on different multiple worlds now. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're at this stage like, oh, shit, this flower grows here and it can grow in this region of space or this region of the, of the firmament, whatever the hell. You're at that point where you further like to look and study the most high's creation. Like how Star Trek, how that is, it mimics the most high, a high exalted angels, which they travel through the galaxy and explore and basically help motherfuckers and shit. You know what I mean? So it's the same shit that nobody like never told them. They just listen to distress calls. And distress calls basically are prayers from different corporeal worlds. And they'll just mask you with, you know, uh, radio signatures and uh you know, uh, basically warp drives and shit that they're able to travel in warp speed now. That's just letting you know that they can, that they now are in tune with their spiritual world on their earth and shit. And now they're like ready for communion from the high exalted realm. Like, yo, get us out here and shit. We, right, we out here just, you know, now you can just show us a map of some things or what you know. And like it is, knowledge is infinite. So it's always going to appear like nothing is done, but because it's, ever moving and ever evolving and at the same time it's going to seem like everything is already known which it is because it's wisdom it be or it's been you know be been being all these things are the same basically you know what i'm saying so anyhow upon you know transition it's like just like the shit on earth like you know what i'm saying you gotta have a certain grade point average now to order to get to this college and shit because this college ain't gonna tolerate that da, 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 because it has this da, 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 da. same shit in the in the spirit world you know so you're gonna be learning do things think because nothing never really dies it just gets lighter and lighter and the lighter you become the higher you can go there's really no end now the lower you can go is the same difference you can stay low even sub low like nigga that nigga is just sub low you can see the type of spirit in the being that is like that in the physical world right now type shit where you can be like god damn if they're immortal now look how low they are now you know what I'm saying? you can see a mortal that's high even though he hasn't had no input of no angel maybe his his angels that's around him they probably got a good his guardian angels are actually uh, help and protect their lineage so they probably got it probably got a, a little good joy whereas other ones are they're infiltrated a little bit more by drujits which is evil spirits that are left on the earth that has never 
that never tried to ascend that don't want to leave off the plane and so they just stay here and just learning new ways on, of manipulation and waiting for certain times of uh, the civilizations which is like golden ages and silver ages and bronze ages and iron ages to fucking pretty much manifest they self to show their sub low savage ways and shit like yo this is what we is or and manifest in that form and shit you know and that's why the most I know is that yo basically everything is good you know so we want to get the good shit the good seeds and, and, and harvest them and bring them up to the higher realms and shit whereas the low seeds we got places for them especially if certain worlds are overran by these being by these spirits by the time uh it reaches certain arc cycles of the earth's travel around the the great solar disk or the great solar sun it's like yo we got to purge the earth of this shit and this is all done in, in sight that we don't even see it's like a higher density like shit that we don't see like you don't see a lot of things the rainbow is there it just shows it when the rain hits the whole shit is always there it's just when the rain hits at a certain angle you see it now but it's always been there it's like the the base behind the board like you know you can create things like the holodeck type shit but we get caught up in their illusion when we watch their TVs in their programs to program us to think a certain way we like certain shows like we like that show or I like that program you know what I'm saying? You get programmed and shit, you know? And there's certain shows that have some truth in it, you know what I'm saying? But you have to differentiate, and this is where discernment comes in at. And that's a chosen, a divine chosen trait, a trait of the most high, basically. Well, all these are traits of the most high, but the highest point of evolving, basically. That's a that's a good trait to have. Now, when you ignore it, that's when you become ignorant. And becoming ignorant is like, ah, shit, you just gonna stay, and you know better, you know? You ain't wanna fucking descend in the first goddamn place. You wanna bring people down. You don't care. That's called self sabotaging, and that's when the cluster B personality disorder takes over in the world. We're gonna say it just like that. Diagnosing it as the cluster B personality disorder when it runs rampant in the world. Big eye, little you syndrome. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it is. You know, upon, um, you know, going to the next university is what you do in the world, the corporeal world, which is, is here that you're listening to the shit. It gets you prepared for the next world. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's like you would think that it's like, ah, oh, it's nothing. And da, da, da. It's like, no, the power of memory is cold. It's very it's on point. This is why people could put you in hypnosis and think of things and find things out about you ask you certain questions you can even know a lot of shit that you didn't even know that you didn't even observe they put you in a hypnosis state that you can you can just see um you'd be walking down the street and tell you don't even know that you've seen this lady in a red dress in the back three four blocks away or something like that down the way or whatever and know what the fuck she smelled like and all that shit you're this far away they just use hypnosis to see it shows you how in tune the human instrument the human body is and this is just in in the human form. You utilize the spirit in the human form, and it's not even fully developed all the way. You see? So this is this is uh, this is this is a it's a beautiful thing once you start tapping into yourself and then tapping into the Most High. You know you don't master nobody else. There's no real power in that. You master yourself. But here in the corporeal world, these people like to master others. But once you like master yourself, they can't master you, and it's like. Argh. So they try to hurt you or they just join you. But that's just pretty much what it is. What you're doing here, get you prepared for the next board. And basically, shit, when they realize, like, God damn it, they can't kill you, really. It just sends you to the next level, to the better board. Maybe to a board where the nigga come back to your ass and shit. Like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Or a board just waiting on them to, to transition and shit. But they going to stop doing that one, though. So anyhow, though. Say peace, more love and light, and I'll build y'all in the next video. Peace.